Hey, farming peeps. Toster12 here. How you doing? Hey, we got some new mods yesterday. So let me tell you. Aren't these pretty? Those are some awesome trucks. My goodness. But. I'll still have one. But oh man, the slot count. Wow. And one thing I'm a little confused on. Maybe if you know the answer, please post down in the comments below. Because one of these is the coyote or coyote coyote and the other one is the roadrunner can you tell the difference i can't only reason i know which one's which is because i'm the one that actually got them <clears throat> as far as which one's which i'll show you in a minute <laughs> all right well first off we have Boom, right there. It's the Vicon Compact Tiller L3000. Boom, it is dropped in, drop fed into the game. And it costs 18,000. It requires minimum power of a 70 horse. And a maximum power is required is 150. The working width is three meters. Author is dim.creative and it's available for all platforms. And the slot count wasn't too bad. I was actually impressed, if I can find it. Boom, is that it? I think that's it, wow, hey, look at that. It's only six, so I'm kind of impressed with that. Actually, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, and, you will find that. Where did I find that? Did I find that the power? Or discs? I can't remember which one it was. I want to say it was the discs. Yep, there it is. Boom, right there. The Compact Tiller L3000. There is no customization to it. And it cost $18,000. So, but it's not too bad. I don't think. I don't think at all. So, it's workable, especially for a disc hauler. So, I mean, it's three meters, but work perfect for the small farms. Perfect for the small farms. Next, look at that little guy. Isn't it cute? The Amazon ZAM. Isn't it cute? Now, this is customizable. For a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit. It cost fifteen thousand, or seventeen five, or twenty thousand, or twenty five thousand. There's a lot of ors there. That's because of the customizations. Uh, it's uh, ava it's available for all platforms, and the author was M. Lodi 98, M L O D Y 98. And boom. It is right here under crop protection. No, it's not. Fertilizer technology. That's where it's under. Yeah, I'll get it right in a minute. Oh, there it is, past it. And right there, it starts out at $3,000 or $15,000. Holds 3,000 liters, but it does either uh, fertilizer or lime. It's 24 meters, but when you go into it, here's your customization and here's where your price goes up. Boom, right there. You, Cause you can go, there's 1,000 liters, 1,500 liters, 2,500 liters, and 3,000 liters. So it holds up to 3,000 liters and it goes right back down. But you also have the option of putting the cover on it. So you can put a cover on it right there for another $500. So your total big bang price is going to be $22,500 for a total with every option maxed out. So it's not too bad. I think that's workable. And it only takes up four slots for 3,000 liters. <clears throat> so let's compare that. Four slots for 3,000 liters 
and boom. You got 1,800 liters right there for 11,000. And you can put the extension on it for uh, 4,500 and it holds 1,800. 3,000 liters versus 1,800. The price difference is quite a bit, but oh my goodness, the capacity is amazing. That's four, that's five. That's 24 meter spread. That's an 18 meter spread. So you have a lot of difference right there, <clears throat> especially in those two little guys. So, and it's to each his own. I mean, it's, it's your choice, but I know what I'll be doing because that is awesome. Boom. And over here, look at that big boy. That thing is huge. And there's also a caveat to this. It's heavy. <laughs> I have the, uh, mm, the ideal uh, harvester. <clears throat> the Agco. <clears throat> Excuse me. Agco. Idea harvester. And it was weighting the front of that down. It was, I had tracks on it, and it was weighting the front of it down. I still had steering. I still had my back wheels touching, but not much with this thing. It was weighting it down. It's awesome, but they're going to have to put some more weight in the butt into those things. This is a 41-foot working width, $81,000, just the case IH 3050. It's made by Dim Creative, Dim Dot Creative. It's author. And it's available for all platforms. And let's see. Of course, it's under headers. And you scoot all the way over. And boom, right there it is. Right there, the Case 3050 Cutter for 81000 Boom. Look at that butte. And of course, it's not customizable. It's a header, it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, color option would be nice, but it's okay. Uh, shows it works with the Axle Flow 9240. So if you have it with that one, that may make a difference. I'm not gonna promise, but it's possible. Because it may be a little heavier in the butt end of it, I don't know. But it's something to check out and look. I mean, because it's possible, it may be a little heavier. And it may hold it better so that's an option possibility but nonetheless it's pretty cool i'm excited about that because that is i mean, i'd cover a lot of ground and cover a lot of ground quick too well have you figured out which one's which because here's the bad boys this is the one i purchased this i bought and this is the one i leased this one is a coyote, and this one is a Roadrunner. There's no difference except for color. Because when you go in and you scroll over and find it, Desert, it's 150,000. And don't let the two slots fool you. And the engine setup. Usually, you use the engine setup, it's $5,000 more for the Roadrunner but it does nothing for the horsepower. So I'm confused on that. Which I went ahead and got, but I'm still confused on that. Now the main color is customizable. And just as the secondary color or the design color, it's customizable. So you can do numerous, numerous things with this. all kinds of different uh, patterns there so and it does look cool I kind of like that one too that's kind of awesome <laughs> wow anyway boom we have that now I have two of them so it's saying minus two that's what it's saying but here's the deal that sucker takes up a crap load of slots now, it still says two. I'm in my least, because all this right here is least. There's my own. So when I get rid of that least one, look at this. Boom. 
boom. We'll turn the least one back in. Boom, there it goes. Now look at this. 27 slots. Wow. And the only difference between this one and this one is price for one, color options, and the way it's painted. Of course, the length, it's not as long. The horsepower is the same. This holds 1,200 gallons of fuel, or 1,200 liters of fuel. This holds 880. They both go the same speed, but the color options, and I guess the graphics on it, the shininess, I guess I'm guessing the shiny, the way it's really pearly, it's beautiful. I'm guessing that's probably a slot count, the way it takes the slot count. That's what I'm guessing. The only thing I can think of. Ooh, listen to that. Ooh, it's pretty. Listen to that. One thing I thought was crazy too, which, hey, it's different. It's a change. I'm not going to complain, but that's a train horn. The train sounds just like that. But you know what? I don't care because I love that paint job. Isn't it pretty? Oh, my gosh. Wow. That is so cool. Well, that's what we have for today. I hope everyone liked it. Thumbs up would be great. Subscribe if you hadn't. Check out on my channel over to the right, the featured channel list. It's updated uh, periodically, and it changes. So every time you look at it, it's someone showing different. So check that out. Check all those guys out and tell them Toster sent you. And thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, and y'all have a good day. And until next time, we'll catch you later.